Hey everybody, I'm Dylan Fields from Get Lucky Outdoors and I'm gonna show you how to resharpen a Rage Tripan. So if you're anything like me, you like to reuse stuff. Around here, we reuse stuff a lot. There's no sense in going out and buying a new set of broadheads when you got more of these in your gear. All you're gonna need to take apart your Rage Tripan is a 1 16th Allen wrench. Back that screw out. The blades will just fall out. Make sure you take your screw out and put it back into the broadhead ferrule so you don't lose it because they are small. All right, now you've got your blades out of the broadhead. Take one and you are gonna need a wet rock. This line right here disappears underneath the broadhead so you know you've got the edge of the broadhead down and just pull, go to the other side, roll it up until the edge meets with the rock pull just like that now if your broadhead is bent just a little bit by looking down the edge of the broadhead this one's not this one has got a tiny bend to it one way that's something I really like about the Rage Tripan is how thick these blades are. I've shot two deer with them so far, whitetail deer, and so far uh, they perform really well. Like any blade, they get dull after you shoot something with it, but it's not hard to get them back razor sharp. So if your blade is bent just a little bit, what you want to do is grab it with either some pliers like this, figure out the direction that it is bent in. If you look, this one is bent this way. Like the hump is over here on this side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab that broadhead's tail down here on the bottom side of that bend, and I'm gonna take it and press it into this table just a little bit. Lightly push a little bit, check it. It's looking so close, it's not funny. Let's go back like this. Just a tiny bit, one more time. So now that we've straightened our broadhead back up, we can get that edge sharpened all the way down through here. If it's bent too bad and you try to sharpen, your inner part that's uh, of the hump isn't gonna sharpen. Once again, lay your broadhead down flat, slowly roll it up until that edge meets the rock. Pull it. Make sure you keep your finger out here on this part too so you can have equal pressure all the way across the edge. Put your finger out here so you can have pressure. Roll it up and pull it. Nice and slow, keep it smooth, and keep that edge the same all the way across the rock. Okay, so we got our edges done on our blades now. Now this final step isn't a must. As long as you get your nicks out of your edge and it's pretty sharp to the touch or it can cut paper or shave some hair off of your arm, you're pretty good. Like right there, it's shaving me. But if you're like me and you wanna be as ethical as possible, and really take it to the next level. What you're gonna need is a strop. I made this strop literally just yesterday with a buffing compound that I've got on Amazon. It's only 10 bucks for a pound of it. And then this is just literally a piece of wood off of an old futon. Doing this really takes them to the next level. And it's the same thing as before, except now we're gonna be pulling it backwards. And we're not gonna cut into the leather, we're gonna pull it backwards. That's just a piece of leather. Um, JB welded onto this piece of wood. Roll it up, just enough to it touches. Nice and easy. It only takes about five to 10 swipes on either side to really polish that edge. They don't have to be really long strokes and that will take your edge to where you want it. Now let's do us a test. Okay, so now that both of our blades are back razor sharp, 
what we are gonna do is take our ferrule and our screw is right inside of there, just like we left it. So we're gonna take that screw back out. Make sure you don't lose that screw. And one blade will lay on the back side. On this middle part is where the screw's gonna go through. And lay like this. And then take this blade. It's gonna come over the top of this one, like an X. Hold them both together, take your screw, put it back through the ferrule, and tighten. Make sure you don't cross thread nothing. Snug it up pretty good because you're going to be slinging this through animals. Make sure that these are still moving free. Put your shock collar back on. And you're done. So guys, that is how I sharpen my Rage Tripans.